to Money News Now. The week loony has many Canadians choosing to stay home and spend their money here. But there's also a reverse effect as Americans increasingly cross the border to buy vehicles here in Canada. If you're thinking of selling off your car, Bell Bratch explains why now might be a good time. All these trucks like F-150, F-250, uh, Dodge Ram, the Chevy trucks, all these trucks are getting cleaned and they're going to be exported this week. At Surrey's GN Motors, used vehicles like these don't stay on the lot for very long these days. Within 72 hours, 80% of these cars and trucks will be shipped to the U.S. For the high dollar for us, business is great. We have uh, grown our business uh, from... 20 cars a month to 80 cars a month. It's great for us. Yes, we really like it we, because we export, and, as I said, 80% of our inventory. With the Canadian dollar sinking to an 11-year low earlier this year, the export business is booming. Vehicle sales, new and used, are up at many dealerships. It's not just a win for Americans. Kara says for anyone trying to sell their car, now's the time to cash in. We can give local people more money for their car. So if you're trading your car in, let's say it's worth 10000 two years ago, now we can give you 12000 because we can get the 12000 in the USA. Graham Robbins runs a and Customs Brokers, a company that transports goods between Canada and the U.S. With offices on each side of the border, his business in the U.S. is up nearly 40%. With the exchange rate, I just think people go, you know, when it's when it's up, you know, 5, 10 percent either way, no one's looking at a big difference. But now that it's getting to 20, 30, is it going to go to 40? So people really start looking seriously at saving some major dollars on, on exporting to the U.S. Some of his exporters have doubled their volume in the last few months. Robin says the more expensive the vehicle, the greater the savings for Americans and the greater the profit for dealers in Canada. I don't know if they're rumors or if they're real, but there's uh, dealers in, in uh, Vancouver or the lower mainland here that will fly somebody one-way ticket, pay your one-way ticket, and then you can drive the vehicle home. While business is booming for Robbins and Kara, not everyone is happy. Some automakers warned Canadian dealers if they sell outside of Canada, their franchise can be terminated. Bal Bratch, CBC News, Surrey.